Located to the north of Nairobi is Maralal Town, the town that got its name from the early settlements that included several houses constructed using iron sheets, is home to the Samburu pastoralist community. The main challenge here is the perennial water shortage that dates back to over 50 years. It is a perpetual quandary of biting water shortage that Mzee Moses Lenairoshi has experienced over the years. Maji enyewe haijia kwa stable. Mbaka sahi. Mana tumetumia dam, kuna mwagi bali neto tunamotio dam. Iyo dam jyo tunametumia kwa miaka nyingi. Mbaka hapa, hata sasa, diyo bado tunatumia. Samburu County Women MP Mason Leishomo sees this as a major headache to women in the vast county. Maji pia, ama iso maji pia kukosa, inachangiwa pia na imamu ya ya security. Samsa ingine maji pia ikiwa kinoko, diyo tunanda pia, watu wananda kumunania, na pia iso maji pia diyo fita pia inatoke hapo. But what is the genesis of the water issue in Maralal? From just under 1,000 people in the 1950s, the population in Maralal grew to 5,000 in 1986. At this time, water was sourced from Nundoto Dam, while the treatment works was a small shack that still stands at the Maralal Water Treatment Works. Yeah, and the purpose of this tank is basically to receive the, the raw water. However, the strain on the supply saw the construction of Nundoto 2 Dam, which has a capacity of 500,000 cubic meters that currently only holds 200,000 cubic meters of water. The unprecedented population growth in the past 27 years, growing tenfold to 50,000, has put a strain on the available supply. Nundoto Dam 1, constructed in the 1950s, served the residents of Maralal Town. The construction of Nundoto 2 in 1986 has not elevated the water problem either. And uh, from that time to date, there is no any other upgrading. The demand has surpassed the supply. In fact, currently we are providing less than 20% of the, of the demand. Even with this growth and the environmental degradation of the dam notwithstanding, because of the human activities that uh, uh, are carried out within the catchment, there is uh, a lot of sedimentation. It is the one that has um, been deposited here and the vegetation has really taken advantage of that to grow. The town's residents are still in need of sufficient and reliable water supply.